What's up, you guys? I hope y'all doing so good today. I'm so excited to bring you guys part two of our how-to series, how to roll up your sleeves. If you guys did not catch part one, we covered how to tuck in your shirts. I'll include a link down below in the description box if you guys want to check that out. And for today's video, we have five different styles of how to roll or cuff your sleeves. I have timestamps for every single section, in addition to the blog post link that has all the instructions written out along with movable GIFs for you guys to follow and I also have all the clothing details down there for y'all too. Please give your girl a thumbs up if you continue to enjoy this series and let me know what you guys want to see next down below in the comments. Love you guys so much, hope y'all enjoy and let's get started. Our first style is the basic and casual roll. This is easy peasy, self-explanatory, most obvious option. You're gonna go ahead and unbutton both of the buttons in your cuff at the end of your shirt sleeve. Then you're gonna flip the cuff back right onto itself, focusing right at the seam where the cuff meets the sleeve. The cuff is your natural template. Every time you fold and roll your shirt back to shorten the length, it should be equivalent to the same width as your cuff. Now for a more casual look, you are gonna fold it one to two times so it's resting on your forearms and the cuffs are a little bit looser and very relaxed and laid back. If you guys need to go into work mode and you need more mobility in your arms, you can easily just keep continuing the fold upward until the cuff and your sleeve is above or at your elbow length. Quick, easy, self-explanatory. This is the most basic of rolls. Let's go ahead and talk about some more secure and stylish options. Method two is the master or Italian roll. In my opinion, it provides a more secure, clean, and less bulky version of our first basic method. This is the style I would do for an office environment with my dress shirt. So so you're gonna go ahead and start off by unbuttoning all your buttons again. You're gonna take your cuff and you're actually gonna make a more dramatic fold backwards and hike up that cuff all the way up to your elbow. At that point, you're gonna to wanna to kinda of tug the fabric to make sure it's nice and taut and smooth out as many wrinkles as possible. Then take the new bottom of the sleeve and roll it up and the goal is to kinda of hide that exposed cuff by like 90%. So you're essentially only doing two folds while achieving a large reduction in the length of the sleeve. Here is where you can really adjust if you want to just have a sliver of the cuff exposed peeking out from the roll, you can do that. Or you can hike up the fabric more and cover the entire cuff. It's totally up to you. When it's colder or if you have a shirt with a thicker fabric, sometimes the basic roll creates a very bulky like donut shaped cuff around your arm that's a little bit restricting. So I find this fold method is better for those instances too. You cover more ground with less folds. Style three, the J Crew Roll. If you guys have ever walked by a storefront or looked in their catalog, one thing you'll notice is their iconic sleeve roll. It's polished with a slightly rugged, disheveled look. It doesn't take itself too seriously and it just looks really amazing with things like a lived-in chambre. So you're gonna pretty much follow the same steps as the master or Italian roll. Unbutton both buttons, take the cuff, fold it back up towards the elbow, then roll the new bottom of the sleeve back up over the exposed cuff. Then from here, you're gonna go ahead and take your fingers and you're gonna yank at that exposed cuff so that it sticks out more than normal. You can go super dramatic and have it drape over your cuff like a you know delicate flower petal, or you can just have it slightly peeking out for like a subtle ruffle. Then lastly, you're gonna do a third mini roll and fold the sleeve back onto itself to create almost like um, extra wrinkling and twisting just to break up the visual perfection of that smooth cuff. You really want it to look lived in and like you've just been wearing it all day. It definitely has a lot of extra flair. Just a few tweaks, you can have a completely different sleeve look and it looks like you just like push your sleeves up like, yeah, I didn't do anything, but you still get that nice firm security of the master Italian fold. Option four, I had to show you guys this style because there are literally some shirts that I always wear rolled up. For these cases, I literally like to just do it beforehand, keep them always pre-rolled and hanging in my closet ready to go. So for these cases, I like to go a little bit all out. You don't have to do this, but I do suggest it if you guys want a more permanent solution, go ahead and get out your ironing board and your iron and smooth out that sleeve as much as possible. Get out all the wrinkles and make sure all your seams are like nice and aligned and then once your sleeve is prepped I unbutton both buttons and begin with a basic style roll cuff by cuff until the slit or that opening in the cuff essentially disappears. At that point I have a solid cuff to work with 
and I do a Marine Corps style roll. I take the entire cuff and fold it back onto the back sleeve using my thumb and my pointer finger holding the inside of the cuff and the back of the shirt and then using my residual fingers I'm going to push the fabric into the cuff hole and inside out. The fabric should emerge out of the cuff hole as a perfect vacuum tight uh, polished cuff. I do that Marine Corps style one or two times as my final roll ups and that really seals the sleeve off and it looks good every time. I could just throw the shirt on directly from my closet onto my body and I don't gotta worry about rolling it every single time. And I've even like washed these types of shirts before and the cuff does not even get undone y'all. Awesome for your frequently used shirts and you like that clean secure cuff look. And our final style that I wanted to address today is what do you do when you have a button down or a blouse underneath a sweater or a cardigan? Two different things I like to do. If I'm looking for a longer sleeve, I first take the sweater cuff and fold it back onto itself. You're essentially just shortening the length of the sweater just above the wrist so that you can fold the blouse back over it. Be sure to just kind of tug and smooth the sweater first just so that you don't have too much wrinkling and clumping all the way up the arm. And essentially the new bottom of the sweater sleeve should hit right at where the cuff starts. This is the more casual relaxed version because the cuffs are kind of open and a little bit floppity and wider than the sweater. But you can obviously hike up both sleeves together if you need it shorter midday. Now the other option is if you're already going to need mobility in the arms or you want a shorter length, I'm going to go ahead and fold the sweater back kind of like the master fold a lot higher at the elbow or a little bit above and really do a good job at smoothing that sweater sleeve down. Then you're going to do a basic roll for the button down cuff and keep folding it back until you hit the sweater. At that point you're going to go ahead and fold the fabrics once together. It's a little bit tight but it's going to create that firm seal so that the shirt doesn't fall down underneath the sweater and it creates a very uniform look. Really dig the layered look. You get some nice visual interest and contrast with the cuff within the sleeve and then also the color picks up off the body of the shirt. Alright you guys, that does it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for your time and watching and hanging out with me. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this how-to series and also let me know what you guys want to see next down below in the comments. Lastly, the blog post and everything shown in today's video is down below in that description box. Thank you guys so much again. I love you so, so much and I can't wait to see you guys in our next video. Bye!